Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve link mechanism problem. Draw the locus of a point P when the crank BC undergoes one complete revolution. The point A is made to reciprocate or resume Sally. Now, what do we mean by crank BC? BC, which is the radius of the circle, is known as the crank while AP is called the link or the road. Now, P is located at the edge of the road and we are asked to draw the locus of point P. So what are we going to do? We have the following information given to us. BC, which is the crank, is equals to 25 millimeters. AP, which is the road, equals 100 millimeter. And the position of AB, AB is 50 millimeters. So the first thing we are going to do, draw your circle using radius 25 mm. Draw your circle and divide into it or 12 equal parts. After you have done that, measure the length of the road, which is 100 mm at division eight. I'm starting with division eight because from the question, you have been given the first solution. And the first solution is to place your rod at this division. And this division is division eight. So the first thing is to measure the length of the rod, which is 100 mm, and place it at division eight. Ensure that it rests horizontally on this line. It rests on the line and make sure that the point 50 mm is from the top of this crank to the horizontal line. Then when you are done with the measurements at 100 mm, you put P8. Then let's see the second one from division eight would we'll drop the crank to division seven. When you drop it at division seven, you also measure 100 mm because the length of the road cannot be altered. Whatever is given to you is what you are going to use throughout the entire construction. So we have 100 mm placed at division seven. Now, when you are placing this 100 mm, make sure that your ruler is placed at 50 towards your left and 50 mm towards your right because we're given from the question that from point a to b is what 50 mm and the 50 mm must start from the crank so now let's go back to the construction at division seven so this is 100 mm measure 100 mm and at the tip of the 100 mm put P7. From there, we'll move on to division six. At division six, you position your ruler this way, ensuring that points from point six, you measure 50 mm to the horizontal line because the horizontal line is the slider. All the points are meant to slide through the horizontal line. So you measure 100 mm, which is the length of your rod, and at the tip of the, of the rod, you put P6. Then I'll go to the next one. I'll repeat the same procedure for P5 and P4. When you want to measure P4, you repeat the same process by placing your 100 mm to slide on the horizontal line and also ensuring that from the crank, you measure what 50 to the horizontal. Is 50 from the crank to the horizontal, then you, you mark out your 100 mm and put P4. You repeat for division three. When you get to division three, position your ruler this way, ensuring 50 to your left and 50 to your right. All together, you have 100 mm. And at the tail end of the 100, you put your P3. Then the last one, which is division two, the next one is division two. At division two, you place your ruler this way and ensure that you have 50 mm from 
the crank to the horizontal line and 50 mm from the crank outward. Then at the tail, at the tip of the 100 mm, you put P2. You do this for the last point, which is P1. So at P1, you place your ruler and measure 100 mm. We are working with 100 mm, which cannot be altered. So 50 to the horizontal and 50 outward. Then at the top end, you also put P1. So that gives us all the points we need to join together in order for us to get the locus of P. So when you are done with it, bring out your French curve and connect points P1 to P2, P3 to P4, to P5 to P6, P7 and P8. At the end of the day, you have you get the shape. So this is the end of today's video.